All right, so this is my MSI MPG Trident 3. This is an awesome mid-sized gaming PC that really packs a wallop. Now it's rocking an 11th gen 8 core i7 processor, as well as an RTX 3070 with eight gigs of memory. Now these aren't groundbreaking specs by any means, but this PC sure ain't no slouch. Well, except for when it comes to RAM. Now I'm rocking 16 gigs of DDR4 RAM, which isn't bad, but definitely not ideal for editing 4K footage whilst having hundreds of tabs open with funny dog videos and tutorials on how to change doorknobs for absolutely no reason. Like I don't even need to change any doorknobs. But luckily I was gifted some extra RAM for Christmas, even though this vid is probably coming out after New Year's. All right, let's get on with it. So this is what I have going on currently and usually about 80 to 90% of my RAM is being used up which doesn't leave much room for having Premiere Pro, Illustrator, Photoshop, and After Effects open and alternating between them. So the RAM I got was the G-Skill Rip Jaws V-Series, and it was the 64GB DDR4 kit, which is running at 3600MHz at a CL18 latency. Now I just want to mention that it is very important to know what version of RAM you're actually running, whether it's DDR4, 5 or 3, to ensure that you're going to be getting a RAM upgrade that is actually supported by your PC's motherboard. It's also helpful to check in Task Manager to see the form factor of the RAM sticks currently installed on your PC, so that you're able to make the right purchase decision. Now the install process wasn't too bad, but I did run through a few hiccups and will no doubt get into that later. Now, first, after pulling the case off by taking out a few screws, I grabbed a rag and an air duster to clean up my PC. I'll be honest here, it had been a while since I last cleaned it. Next, I had to remove my CPU fan, which wasn't too difficult, but the next part wasn't the greatest for me. I had to unscrew the screws that held the heatsink in place, and this is where I encountered my first real issue, as because a Trident has a much smaller case than traditional tower PCs, which is great for saving space on a desk by the way, but not so much when it comes to playing around with the internals of the PC. And so to upgrade my RAM, I had to remove the CPU fan and the heatsink which had screws that were pretty deep in and that meant I had to operate carefully around the heatsink which I kinda didn't and it ultimately ended up getting some battle scars along the way. So yeah, if you are planning on doing this on a Trident MPG, just make sure that you keep a steady angle when removing these screws. From that point on, I just had to press a little tab on the RAM slot to release the RAM. So at this stage, it should have just been smooth sailing as all I really needed to do at this point was just install the new two sticks of RAM. However, as you'll see, it wasn't that easy. Now back to me cleaning up the thermal paste on my CPU. I did pick up some Arctic Silver 5 and applied it to my CPU. Now this next part I'm not proud of, but I did have to use my Post Malone concert ticket to spread the thermal paste evenly. I knew splurging on these extra special tickets would come in handy. Thanks Post. Now after getting all that sorted, I realized pretty quick that I was going to have fitment issues as the heatsink wasn't able to be properly installed. It was sort of just hovering in place but not really secure. Now this is an issue because it wasn't making sufficient contact with the CPU and in turn would not allow the heat to be transferred from the CPU effectively. At this point after trying to make it work, I realized that I had to get rid of the heat spreader on the RAM stick itself. I thought I had enough clearance initially, but I really should have figured that in a small PC like this, every centimeter counts. So after pulling everything out again, I used a hairdryer to loosen the glue from the heat spreader and pry out the RAM. Now after installing both sticks, reapplying the thermal paste, which actually came out better than my previous attempt, I closed everything up and booted up my PC. I went from my 16 gigs of measly RAM to a solid 64 gigs. Now I gotta say, this was definitely a fun little DIY project that definitely has been worth it in my opinion. Now, this kit was gifted to me by my sister Raina, so shout out to her. And you can usually find these kits for about 175 USD when on sale. And overall, the performance gain I got with this RAM upgrade kit when juggling several CPU intensive programs like the Adobe Suite has honestly been fantastic. So if for the new years you're looking to upgrade your PC, I highly recommend doing a little bit of research online. Um, you'll honestly be surprised at how much information you can find online 
and with a little know-how, you can genuinely do a whole lot. So this has been it for me. I hope you've all had a great Christmas, have an awesome New Year's, and I'll catch you in the next one.